Hi everyone, this is just a quick little video to cover how to create a name drop list which is very similar to the steps that were shared with uh, creating a template. I already have a design on my screen that I created by importing a design and I created this text so you can see the text here and the next thing that I did when I select the text I can go into the text attributes and you see the name drop. I want to maintain my aspect ratio and you can see that there are several uh, options to choose. I chose the one in the center. I'll choose a name drop list and this is where I create the names for uh, the designs that I want to create. To add a new name, all I have to do is to type that name and press on the next, or, or select the next line. Now I can do one of two things. I can choose one of those names and choose OK and I have that design on the screen, I can go ahead and send it to my embroidery machine. I can go back into the list, retrieve another one, and send that to my embroidery machine. Or I can be a little more efficient about it and create a file. So I can go back into the list and I can tell it to output this to a folder and I can give it a name and um, we'll call this um, name drop example 3 because I've created a couple of examples and now what it's doing is it's outputting five different files for the name drops while we're on the screen, I want to share another thing with you because I received an error message and I actually have sent some screenshots to um, Brother. You can import a CSV and you can save as a, a CSV. I don't know why, but on my system, I can save the file as a CSV, open it in Excel, add some more names like the, I added on this list and then when I but tried to import it I'm getting a sharing violation so uh, when that is resolved I'll update this video and I'll show you how to use that functionality but let's just go out and look at the files that were created and by choosing cancel and I'll choose file open and you need to know where you saved your files so you can see that I have created this example here and you can see in browse there were five names and each of those names is appearing on this list it's a great way for you to uh, create designs where you where there is some repetition and for instance I created this uh, little name drop and this could be something that I add on a receiving blanket or put on a towel for an infant and it is so quick and easy and also keep in mind so I'm in Importing these designs from the design library, but I could also open up a design that I have in my system and create it as well. I hope this is helpful for you, and thank you for your time today.